What is up YouTube? Back with another review, another unboxing, another sneaker pickup. But I want to say um, shout out to one of my subscribers or one of the viewers made a comment about uh, I should do a ranking of the Jordan 1 Lows. I don't have much, but I recently picked up a Jordan 1 Low and I was like, oh, why not? Let's do a ranking of the Jordan 1 Lows that I currently have. So first, let's just get into the pickup that I got. So just got these in today and I was digging these. These are probably one of the top colorways in my opinion. And this came relatively quick. It popped up on, it was like a, popped up on Nike, got it directly from Nike. And I was glad I was able to get it because it was uh, actually had a 20% discount code on Nike. So I actually got these for about 70 bucks. Original price is 90. So I got these for 70 bucks, which is cool. Because these are a fire colorway. I feel like in a couple years, uh, resale is going to be crazy. Glad I was able to cop. But these, oh, this matches what I currently have on this jersey. So, let's pull these out real quick. Oh, oh, oh. oh have here the Royal Blue Jordan 1 Lowe's. Oh, this is a fire colorway. Look, oh, matches the Sixes jersey. It is fire. I don't know. So, the one thing I wish it would have been done, I I don't really like the black in it. So, if they would have did like a blue or a white lining and white laces, would have been fire. But this is it. And I love Jordan 1 Lowe's with leather all around it. Or... I mean, this is not real leather. Quality is as so, but I still like that feeling of it. So let's toss this. Hopefully, you guys see it. Black stitched in wing logo on the back, and it's all leather all around. Stiff leather, nothing. To, nothing that great. So. You can't really complain. It's a $90 Jordan 1 low, which I like because technically, wear some jeans over top of it, it could technically be a high. Technically. But the, I wish they would have did black, uh, blue bottoms, blue, I would have, yeah, blue and white, no black. This would have been perfect. But this, good color in my opinion. Comment down below, let me know if you guys agree. But let's get into the comparisons or the one that, yeah, I wish it was more like the Jim Red Lowe's. I definitely wish it was more like this, but this is not bad. Which one do you guys like better? Boom. Hmm, I don't know. So let's, for the Jordan 1 Lowe's that I currently have, I don't have much. But I do have these Jordan 1 Lows. And let's go from, I would say, number six. Which I would say these patent leather go toes. I bought these because I didn't want to wear my high top go toes. So, and it's worth it. 90 bucks or on sale 80 bucks when it goes on sale then it sells out and then and then it goes up for resale but i don't know if you guys should really pay that much for a resale gold toes i haven't checked on this but gold toes will be my number six um i would have to say the shadows would be number five in my opinion. Only reason this is number five is because of the new buck all around and then this patent leather swoosh. It's just a bit, I don't know. Like I can't wear these in the rain. These would get destroyed in the rain. 
But these are fire, fire as colorway, shat shatter backboard, but like can't beat it. Apparently, do you guys see the other shatter backboards that are apparently coming out later this year or next year? Those are must have. Five pairs minimum shatter backboards. Gotta have it. But yeah, that will be number five. Number four. These will be number four on my list. For a blue shoe, number four. Royal Blue, Jordan 1 Low, number 4, number 3, yeah, I would say number 3, and then number 2, Jim Reds, and last but not least, if you guys seen already, these are probably going to be number 1, in my opinion, I mean, if you get rid of this, the Jim Reds would be number one, in my opinion. But you can't, like, this has to be number one. Unless it's, like, some bread Jordan 1 Lowe's or the OG colorways. This has to be a number one. I know it's, like, hype beast ish ish A lot of people didn't like the Jordan 1 uh, Travis Scott Lowe's. But these are the only ones. I don't have the highs, so I'm going to keep these. And these are... Climbing up in resale price, so even though that doesn't matter, if you like the sneakers, you like the sneakers. But yeah, that would be my ranking on my Jordan 1 Lowe's. Top six, only six in my collection. Jordan 1 Lowe's are going, they're going ham on Jordan 1 Lowe's. They're making a ton of colorways. Also, Jordan 1 Mids, and they're actually reselling. That's the crazy part. Comment down below how you feel about Jordan 1 Mids and Lowe's reselling crazy right so i don't know it was a quick review of these black bottoms royal blue black lining not much to really talk about blue jump man black stitch and wing but i just want to do a quick comparison between all three this would be the best comparison would be the Jim Reds. It is fire colorway. These are some fire Jordan 1 Lowe's that are coming out. If they come with these Chicago blockings and these or bread blockings, that's all they need. Just make a ton of different colorways and keep it the same blocking. Not crazy colors, but I'll take a green one it blocked up like this. It won't be that bad. But comment down below and let me know. Quick little video. See you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.